Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 3 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x squared is equal to 15. Now, 15, this is the same thing as 3 times 5. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x squared is equal to 3 times 5. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to the power of x. So then these two would cancel out and I would have 5 to the power of x squared is equal to 3 over 3 to the power of x times 5 over 3 to the power of x. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 5. So then these two cancel out and I would be left with 5 to the power of x squared over 5 is equal to 3 over 3 to the power of x. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n, right? Now, 5 to the power of x squared over 5, well, this is the same thing as 5 to the power of x squared times 1 over 5, which is equal to 3 times 1 over 3 to the power of x. Now, 1 over 5, this is the same thing as 5 to the power of negative 1. And 1 over 3 to the power of x, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of negative x. And remember, now I can also multiply these. And if a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 5 to the power of x squared times 5 to the power of negative 1, that's going to equal 5 to the power of x squared minus 1, which is equal to 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of negative x is equal to 3 to the power of 1 minus x. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the log of both sides. So I have log 5 to the power of x squared minus 1 is equal to log 3 to the power of 1 minus x. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So now I get b times log a. So for log 5x, 5 to the power of x squared minus 1, I can move this to the front. And for log 3 to the power of 1 minus x, I can move this to the front. So now I have x squared minus 1 times log 5 is equal to 1 minus x times log 3. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. And log 5 over log 5, that's the same thing as log base 5 of 5. And log 3 over log 5, that's the same thing of log base 5 of 3. If I have something in the form log base a of a, this is actually equal to 1. So log base 5 of 5, that's going to equal 1. So I have x squared minus 1 times 1 is equal to 1 minus x times log 5 base 5 of 3, then this just means x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 minus x times log base 5 of 3. Now if I subtract 1 minus x times log base 5 of 3 on both sides, I get x squared minus 1 minus 1 minus x times log base 5 of 3 is equal to 0.
And now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. In this case, a is equal to x and b is equal to 1. So x squared minus 1, that's going to equal x plus 1 times x minus 1. And now I have this plus x minus 1 times log base 5 of 3 is equal to 0. Because what 1 minus x is the same thing as negative x plus 1. And negative of negative x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1. So now, if I factor out x minus 1, I get x minus 1 times x plus 1 times log base 5 of 3. And this is equal to 0. Now, this gives me two equations. I have x minus 1 is equal to 0. And I also have x plus 1 times log base 5 of 3 is equal to 0. For x minus 1 equals 0, I can simply add 1 on both sides. So I get x is equal to 1. And this is one solution of x. Now for x plus 1 times log base 5 of 3. Oh, wait. I made a mistake. This isn't supposed to be times. This is actually supposed to be plus. So this is plus. So this would be x plus 1 plus log base 5 of 3 is equal to 0. So now if I subtract both sides by log base 5 of 3, I get x plus 1 is equal to negative log base 5 of 3. And now I can also subtract 1 on both sides. So I get x is equal to negative 1 minus log base 5 of 3. Now, if I factor out negative 1, I get negative 1 times 1 plus log base 5 of 3. And now it's equal to negative 1 times. 1 is the same thing as log base 5 of 5 plus log base 5 of 3. And now if I combine these, I get negative 1 times log base 5 of 5 times 3, because these two multiply. And that is going to equal negative 1 times log base 5 of 15, which is simply negative log base 5 of 15. So that is our two solutions.